we're at Snowshoe. I gotta be styling while I peep the down the bunnies. Just got onto the snow. Whee! Pinkity drinkity. Safety first. Hey guys, I'm so tired. I don't really post on this channel much, but I love like vlogging trips. So I don't know where this is gonna be posted. We're going for a couple day ski trip. We've actually already gotten here. It was like a 13 hour drive today. So Cece, hi. I literally slept all day mm -hmm. in the car because I took Dramamine because I get really motion sick very easily. I had a speedy workout this morning. Um, oh, also we're at Snowshoe. This is Anna and I's first time skiing since we tore our ACLs like five years ago. So it's been a long time since we've been skiing. I'm very excited because I haven't like, last time that Anna and I skied, we were little, little tykes. Our room is pretty, like the layout of the room is really nice. Um, it's got kind of like a kitchen and stuff. And then our parents are like in a separate bedroom, like within the, I guess it's kind of like a condo lodge thing. I don't know. I do post a lot of my TikTok, a lot of my TikTok. So if y'all do want to follow me, y'all should. <laughs> Shameless plug, Morgie Double or... Okay, I'll see y'all in the morning. I've just been so exhausted by my vlogging. Good morning, guys. It is almost 8 a.m. I made myself some rice cakes with peanut butter and banana. I don't know. I have celiac disease, so we have to, like, bring a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't eat anything. We're gonna start getting ready for the slopes and go down and rent skis and boots. It should be a beautiful day out on the slopes today. It's gonna be in the high 30s and then move up to the 40s, I believe. So I am currently filming a TikTok. On me getting dressed um and i kind of wanted to show you all how i layer up um, it is burning up in this bathroom um but right now i've already got a tank top my little my lines and smart wool socks most of the actual ski stuff that i got like this thermal shirt and my like ski pants and stuff i got from amazon if i'm gonna be pizza and down the bunny slopes i might as well be styling while doing it except for this thing like gives me no butt it flattens me so much. It's okay. You know what, like, one of my favorite Disney Channel original movies is? Cloud Nine. I know that's snowboarding, not skiing, but, you know, same concept. I gotta be styling while I pizza down the bunny slopes, you know what I mean? I might do some blues. I might do some blues. Not a black diamond, though. I do have a very vivid memory, traumatic memory, of going down this one slope. Because I think it was, like, Upper Ball Hooter. It's a blue. But it definitely, like, should have been, like... A lower degree black diamond it was awful and i remember being like eight years old and my dad trying to get my sister and i to go down it and i just slid on my butt the entire way i'm just scared about falling off a cliff but here's the fit check it's actually so freaking cute i'm honestly proud of how it turned out just got onto the snow oh look at it go okay this is so look at how beautiful it is though <laughs> Whee! first run of the day Whee! No recording and skiing. It's not advised. When the kids pass by you, it's a very humbling experience. People are whipping past me. And we stopped at the bottom of one of the runs to get food. I don't know how much I can eat. I had to ask them to like change their gloves and stuff, but I still don't really know if it's gonna work. But I appreciated that they took the gesture. Uh, so we've been, we've gone down. How many? Are we going down one or two blues? Two blues. Um, so far I did pretty well. I <laughs> I wiped out on one, but there was a part where my ski got like I was trying to take an S, and I was coming towards the like edge of the run or like the edge of the slope, like towards a cliff. Not really a cliff, but like you know like the drop off. Um, and so I tried to turn left, but for some reason my ski got like caught in like a hill or a tiny little bump in the slope and I couldn't turn and so then my ski like flew off and I flew forward. Um, so I got stuck. I'm, I'm like short so my weight, like the way that I distribute my weight on my skis, it's harder for me to scooch forward even with the poles. Um, and my or my sister and my dad ended up on uh, the ski lift in front of me and I was trying to get on with them so now I'm alone. <laughs> it was very peaceful though. Anna and my dad are like right in front. I struggled to get off the lift myself on the one time that I was by myself and I ended up by myself the second time that I got off. But I'm very short so I struggled and they had to stop the lift for me. And that's a really steep black. We went down the bottom part of it um for the past two ones and the past blue one we went on what was called j-hook that one was scary because i was going so fast apparently i have an essing right though but i don't know
beautiful okay literally because this is where our, our lodge is it's like right at the so we just took the lift up last run of the day dad just went to go do upper and lower ball hooter um we did this run twice it was like lower or upper hoot nanny to mid flume to lower ball hooter and um the second time down um i like almost bumped into somebody i tried to get around so it like messed up my s's and i hit a sheet of ice and slid head first 30 feet and it was really rough trying to get my skis back on when I was facing down towards a very steep hill. But we did it. So now we're going to take some pictures. Walking back up, Anna's taking off her ski boots. Nothing like the walk in the ski boots. If y'all know, you know. The heel toe. Clunk, clunk, clunk. So slopes close at 4.30 here. Um, then there's like Silver Creek, which is halfway down the mountain. We're probably gonna do that tomorrow. Let me look in the mirror. And we were gonna go to the Split Rock Pools, which is like this indoor-outdoor pool that I loved as a kid, but it's closed on Wednesdays. But we're gonna go um, down to like the little village and go out to eat. And the little village is so cute at night. Okay, I curled my hair in like five minutes because mom and dad were patient I already left. Yeah, we're gonna catch up to them. Why is it so blue over here? Little fit check. So this turtleneck underneath is from Shein. Neck, this cross necklace is from Altered State. This sweater has like crisscrosses in the back. I got from Kohl's like four or five years ago. Then I've got my airy crossover flare pants um, and my custom Nike blazers. This is from Morgan's closet. This is Morgan's black <laughs> top. Where'd you get these pants? These are a Christmas present from Morgan. From Hollister. From Hollister. And then I have my air cloud. Your on air top, clouds. my own cloud. Your own cloud. We're doing great today. Um, we're going to some place called East something pizza because I have the app that's called like find me gluten free and basically you read all of the safety ratings from celiacs <laughs> and it had a pretty good rating so the cute little village with the starbies I want a pinkity drinkity go get a pinkity drinkity I'm I get so caffeine honest. for Lent do pantries have caffeine in them? I don't think they do do they? I'm like very caffeine intolerant I feel like I have no and the slopes are right there Okay, the weed smells gone. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's, it was wafting of weed. Pinkity drinkity, I'm a bunny fin. He asked me what my favorite animal was. I said bunnies and elephants. I'm a bunny fin. But the worker was pretty great. I wish I should have asked what his name was, but he was pretty great. Some dude like forgot or didn't want to ask because he ordered something online and he was scared and so he put down shy boy on the cup. But we have like an hour wait and I was expecting strawberry. Our parents are at the bar, so we like walked in, we were like, okay, we're gonna go get ourselves a drink. Tell them about the weed guys store. Yeah, it literally okay, this was kind of sketchy. Um, it smelled like very strongly of weed um, and this guy was like was like oh it smells strongly of weed and then they were like I smell marijuana and he started walking really close to us and he was like give us some we want he was like sharing is caring and then it's, I guess it was his daughter because she was like okay dad but like she looked like she had to have been close to his age for some reason like, he looked really close in age like he must have just been older and she was older with like 30s like so like not old but like the dad yeah, 50, 60, I don't know. But he was like, give, sharing his kids came so close to us. And he just kept screaming at us all the way down the street. I was like, ah. I gave up spending and caffeine for lunch. So if there's caffeine in here, oopsies. I pretty much meant like coffee, energy drinks. Oh, yeah. uh, there is caffeine. Oh. It's like 40 milligrams. I guess I drink a pink drink, but not like decaf coffee. Because decaf coffee and stuff is like a cheat. But I really did just give up caffeine because it makes me like, that's the thing, Lent always follows, falls right in the middle of spring break, or spring break falls right in the middle of Lent. Also, yeah, we're not Catholic, but we are, like, our church used to be Methodist, but we're, like, non-denominational. I just feel like I'm going to get questions. My phone's, like, a 2% battery, but we're waiting. I'm a hostess, so I completely understand the whole wait situation thing. Pumpkin is off. We call it puppy camp, but we've taken her to this lady before. She takes care of multiple dogs at once. She has, like, an at-home doggy daycare. Does she Pumpkin. Pumpkin has a great time there. Yesterday morning we went to go drop her off. She was like running out like into the door. She was like, okay, bye. She knew she knew where she was going. And then she thought that dad was gonna come follow. And then she turned back out and was like going trying to go back out the door and she did it like three times and it was so sad. What? That's the Um, Anna can have gluten, so she loves tiramisu, so look at how pretty it is. I really love tiramisu. It may not turn out well. 
But like, it's like not the bad kind. Do a taste test. Is it good? It's good, but not. It's not wow. But look at all like the Christmas lights and stuff that they have up like all year round. This place at night is so pretty. It's really cold and kind of rainy, so I'm trying to walk a little bit faster. I'm actually really full. Ugh, my stomach hurts. I'm going to walk down and check what to see food when now, the gym closes. Because I've been doing pretty well at my six-day split, and I know it's okay if I don't make it to the gym, especially because I've been skiing, which is a lot of lower body. And I don't know where the gym is, but we're going to find it. My stomach feels like really full. I've been trying to um, eat slower recently because like I could easily... like. Do competitive eating like y'all ask anybody i'll eat like everything in front of me like a whole pizza whole plate of pasta but what happens is i eat so much faster than my stomach signal tells me that i'm full and i've been having this problem where i go to bed in raging pain like to the point where it's like i'm almost crying and it's like i can't tell if i'm getting gluten or if it's just because i'm full and today i try to eat slower but i still kept going and my stomach hurts i don't think it's gluten though like i typically know like typically i vomit if i eat gluten or my face like swells up so far that hasn't happened. I think just dairy. Cause I'm also lactose intolerant, but I still eat dairy. So can't cut out everything. It scares me when I see people my age in public. I was like one-on-one -on -one in the elevator with this dude that was like my age. And it was just like really awkward. Cause I'm scared to ask. This is this thing. I'm like so socially awkward. I'm scared at it. Like I'm scared at asking servers and stuff to change their gloves. Like whenever I'm ordering stuff for my celiac disease. Cause again, like I'm still pretty new to it. I'm always scared to ask people if they're still using stuff at the gym and people are always like, Morgan, just ask. And like, I love, I'm so extroverted when I'm with my friends, but like, I can't talk to people in public, it's so scary. So here's the arcade. If there's an arcade, there's gotta be a gym. I also looked online. So I was walking the right direction. Be proud of me, I asked the lady at the front. They've got a bike. They've got two stationary bikes. An elliptical. And a treadmill. Fun. You know what? I skied. I need to be nice to myself. I need to rest my muscles. My muscles deserve to rest. I'm trying to allow myself to make sure it's okay to take rest days. I typically like rest on Saturdays and Sundays. Well, Saturdays is more like after recovery. I just do like walks and stuff. And then Sunday, I don't go to the gym. A bunch of teenage dudes in the lobby. That's really scaring me. It's all the spring breaker dudes. The socially awkward girl walking around with her camera in her hand. In the elevator, it's not focused. We're on the second floor. It's so out of focus. There we go. Look at the little lobby. That is a stuffed flattened bear against the thing. So it's now 10 o'clock and I'm very, very guilty of being like scrolling on TikTok for like two hours and filming TikToks because I felt hot because this mirror makes me look so good. Like, can we talk about how good this mirror makes me look? Anyways, so now that I'm done obsessing with myself, it's like 10.30 and Anna's been knocked out for the past couple of hours. She looks so sleep and sound. I don't understand why. Oh, now she's awake. And I'm going to clean my face and go to sleep. Good morning, everybody. It's like 9.30 now. I just still look rough. Woke up about 45 minutes ago. The slopes opened at 9 and our dad already went out to go do some of the bigger runs. It's so dark in the room, so it's like hard to get up. I had my alarm going off so many times. I might not video myself up on the slopes as much today until we, unless we go to Silver Creek. I don't know if we're going to go to Silver Creek or not. It's also St. Patrick's Day and I did not bring anything green. But I did bring a green swimsuit, so I might wear that and take some cute pictures. So Anna and I are getting ready. Y'all, look at how dry my skin is. I don't know if you can tell. It's like so flaky right now. I'm gonna let my skin breathe and not put on any makeup today. I'm gonna try to just keep on Stop it! Safety first! At Lululemon Fanny Pack, I will be keeping my phone and a one protein bar at a go go squeeze. So it's incredibly foggy outside today. Like, really foggy. This also falls right into Ball Hooter, and that's the one that I had like a panic attack on whenever I was really little, and it still looks horrifying, so. Little job moment. Um, so my sister and my dad went on Upper Ball Hooter. I was not about to go on it. I just don't feel ready. So here's the thing. My sister and I actually both tore our ACLs like five years ago, and I have not had really any problems. Um, and it's weird, because Anna tore her hers twice and so she's had surgery like four years ago i guess like second time she hasn't really been having a problem with her knee 
the same time, I also, um, I had a complete tear and I was in gymnastics and I definitely kept training my knee like more than I was supposed to when I had surgery. Uh, and my knee still locks out. And I don't know what it's been about this trip, but my right knee is starting to really bug me. It's the knee that I had knee surgery. And I just didn't feel ready for upper ball. Also because it's really, really foggy today and upper ball is like, I remember showing. My skin is also crying for dear help. Um, but I was gonna go to the room and get myself an extra jacket because my hands are so numb. But my mom's not in the room and I don't have a key. So I'm gonna walk down to the village. I just left my stuff outside of the room. I have a little protein bar that I'm probably gonna eat. These things are so good. Nothing like walking down the stairs in ski boots. I have to carry my skis all the way up to. It is just so foggy outside today. She's styling up in here. I'm gonna keep this place. Is. Oh, I got butternut squash soup. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's My stomach is killing me right now. I literally am always so scared I have appendicitis. So when I was, was a little bit over a year ago, um, I had a appendicitis scare because we thought that they exploded. Like I was literally in so much pain. This was actually right when I was like going through my celiac stuff, like getting checked for stuff. Um, Basically what happened was I had an ovarian cyst about this size that had ruptured in my right ovary and we thought that it was my appendix. <laughs> it was not. Um, but I have really bad, I have endometriosis because of my celiac and stuff. It just like all adds together. Um, and I'm getting the pain in my lower right side again. We're going to go to Silver Creek which is like the other ski slopes that are open later. Nothing like getting to the car. What did I say? Nothing like getting into the car and snow boots. Your tummy hurts. Dude, it's literally empty here. All the greens are closed, so we're gonna be taking all blues. That's some high quality slush right there. Cute. Everything, like, this place does not look open. First run at Silver Creek. This is like the only ski lift I can see going. That was kind of steep. Low key, she was kind of steep. There's dad. Look how pretty the mountains are. I have the song Butterfly in the Sky from reading Rainbow stuck in my head. Butterfly in the sky. No, I'm not gonna hold that the whole time. I need to put it away. Yeah, we did it. Last slope. My hands are so cold. Yo, look, they got some good stuff in this. Sour Patch Kid watermelon. Those are gluten free. You also have a lot of good things that are not gluten free in there that make me upset, like moon pies, chocolate moon pies. I haven't had one of those since like space camp. Anne and I literally walked, I mean we had socks on, but like barefoot through like the cold, wet puddles, through the gravel because we like returned our ski boots and didn't have other we shoes. Stopped. We left footprints everywhere we were walking and it looked like we were barefoot. We were like, My toes were crazy. Yeah, and his toes. <laughs> I have socks on. It was all the way up the stairs. It was so funny. So yeah, we're going back into the room to change and then we're gonna walk down and get some Starbucks at the village. Yes, I brought two weenies. This is the really, really pretty Allegheny. What's it? Is that what it's called? We've stayed here before, like a long time ago. I just got a almond milk steamer with caramel syrup. I don't know how it's gonna taste, but it's spelled Anna wrong, but it's spelled Morgan, right? Hey, okay. Anna Morgan. How beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna just the Starbucks. Took some pictures of Sissy. She looks like a mountain girl. Our patch kid watermelon a cheese. Because getting her Swedish fish. Right now we're about to go to the pool. It's 5.40. And we get to swim. So it's like an indoor outdoor pool. See it's like heated. It's a bunch of kids. Ooh, a hot tub. We didn't even swim in the pool. Like we go into the pool for a little bit. It was all the children. All pool. the children in there, but we were, we're in the hot, hot tub for husband. like 15, 20 minutes, and they then are living their best I went into the sauna for like 10, 15 minutes. Really cold out here. So uh, Morgan's getting a little bit too big. <laughs> Anna it. said, Anna said, hey Morgan, pull one of the levers to turn the fan on. We'll figure it out. I pull it and I pulled the lever thing off. I'm watching Cloud Nine. Why not? It's such a good movie. Dove Cameron, my queen. This is a good song. I used to be obsessed with this song. I did not vlog any this morning. Um, I'm back home, as you can tell, back in my room. Um, it was kind of a hectic morning. I don't really know exactly what happened. I think I had another ovarian cyst that ruptured. 
I don't know if that's TMI. That's not TMI, is it? No, because it's like health issues that I have. Um, so I have like a lot of, you know, because I have celiac disease, so it like affects, you know, like my fertility and everything like that, you know? And I've been complaining about how my stomach's been hurting the past couple days. Literally, it's so funny because I was talking about it like two days ago, how I thought like my appendix had exploded maybe two years ago. I had a, another one of those like episodes this morning i was literally crying on the floor like it had not even been maybe 30 minutes that we had woken up we're all trying to pack up so we could get ready to leave by like eight and it had been like 7 40 when this happened i don't know what happened but i was eating breakfast this morning and i all of a sudden got like a really stabbing pain in like my lower abdomen um but it wasn't like a cramp like i didn't even know what it was and then all of a sudden i got like really lightheaded like i was gonna pass out and i felt like i was gonna vomit for a second and then the pain got so bad i couldn't breathe or stand up and so i started crying and i have a really high pain tolerance but i was like crying and screaming like telling my parents that i was in a lot of pain and it started like really really low in my stomach and then started radiating upright which is never good whenever it's radiating to the right. But I had had this before, but like, I mean, I was in a lot of pain. But my parents and my sister, they were all like, Morgan, you're fine. Like, because I understood they were like, we were at the top of a mount mountain. They're like, Morgan, you're fine. But I was in so much pain. Took like some ibuprofen. I took a Dramamine because I get motion sickness really easily. And I literally slept the entire 13 hour ride home. Like the entire time. I was like, out. And so that's why I did not vlog. It's still kind of hurting, but I really do think that it was an ovarian cyst that ruptured. Um, but I did come home like two hours ago. It's 9.43 now. And I went to the gym for just like a short little like treadmill walk. And then I tried to do some bench presses and I actually did pretty good. But I felt like really tired and lightheaded. I'm just really exhausted. You know, like being in the car sleeping the whole day is just <laughs> really exhausting. Yeah, it was a really, really fun trip. I'm glad that I just got to spend a couple days to go skiing because I hadn't skied in a long time and it was really really fun and then I've got like eight weeks and then I graduate which is really crazy I haven't vlogged in a while I really think like the last time I posted was junior prom and it's crazy because my senior prom or senior proms are in two weeks um, because I'm going to two proms this year and I definitely want to vlog because like I can't just not vlog senior prom and I feel so bad because I used to like post so many YouTube videos I stopped posting like my senior year even though I vlogged a lot throughout the year I hope y'all enjoyed the video I'm gonna see if I can post this at some point and I am very active on my TikTok and my Instagram so y'all should go follow me on those and I love you guys thank you for staying even though I haven't seen so many of y'all in like almost a year so see y'all in my next video whenever it is Bye bye Lately.